look at the distributed property, okay? It says, the distributed property says that you can break apart a multiplication fact into the sum of two other multiplication facts. Write the missing factors. So we have the number seven times six. First thing I'm gonna do is put my parentheses and then put my multiplication sign in the middle. The second thing I'm going to do is decide which number I am going to double. So first I'm going to double one of my numbers and then break apart the other number. So I'm going to decide to make six my double number, okay? So I'm gonna put that right here, my doubles, okay? Which means I'm choosing seven as my number to break apart. I can break apart seven into three plus four. I simply put my three here and my four here, and I chose this as my break apart number. And my expression is done. In this problem, we have five times seven. But if you notice, they've already given us some um, factors here. So what we're going to decide now is if we still need to double or break apart numbers. So when I look at the two and the three here, I know that those two numbers are gonna be added together and to equal five. So all I have to do is take that seven and double it and put it here and put it here and it's done. So we have five times five. And again, you can see we've already given us some factors, the four and the five. So since the five is here, I'm going to decide to double the five and also put the five right here. So now I know I have to break apart this five here. They've already given me four. So I'll do four plus one equals five. Therefore, one goes here and we're done.